Good morning. Welcome to First Church. We have uh, a number of announcements to make this morning, but before we do that, I'd like to ask the ushers to please come forward with the ritual of friendship books. And if you could please sign the ritual of friendship book, and if you're new here, please be sure to put in your address so that our pastor can send you a note this week. And are there any visitors here for the first time? Please raise your hands. Hey, we have a little gift for you from the church. We'd like to welcome you here especially. And if I could call your attention to the little yellow sheet in your order of worship, you can take that home with you today, please be sure, because there are lots of things going on and it gives you all the contact information. Uh, I'd like to have Pastor Steve tell you about the new member class this morning. We have several people signed up uh, for the class, and we have um, space for several more. So uh, anybody uh, that would like to, uh, that has an interest in becoming a member of the church or wants to know a little bit more about what uh, our church or the United Church of Christ is about, Please feel free uh, to see me after the service and then come to the uh, luncheon and the class. It will be held at 12.15 in the corner room. Thanks. And having just gone through the class myself a couple months ago, I highly recommend it because it's a great way to find out about this wonderful progressive church and how we operate and what's going on. Um, we'll be having a golf tournament to benefit the youth and young adult ministry. And it'll be held on May 13th at the Venetian Country Club. For those of you who are into golfing, you can see Greg Eisenmacher to sign up. And Greg is sitting back here in the choir. Also, for those of you who are creative, we have a great short-term commitment for you that you can make. Um, we're in the process of updating our bulletin boards, and so we need some creative people to make them a little more interesting. Um, you can see Adrian Warren, her email address is in the in the uh, yellow sheet, and Adrian's right here. And, and I have some photographs of the members that will help out as the turn of the floor. You don't have to start from front. Okay. Okay. <coughs> now, for those of you who watched the royal wedding this week and were disappointed that you couldn't be there in person, yeah. you can break out your fascinators on Saturday, May 14th, <laughs> on our very own Judy Green Davis, who is in the back, and Jack Evans will be joining the marriage here at 2 p.m. And following the ceremony, there'll be a reception held in Pilgrim Hall, and the couple has asked that you do not bring gifts, but for those of you who are still so inclined, they requested that you make a donation to their church in their name. And I uh, hope to see all of you here that Saturday and break out your finest and have a great time. Um, Farrakhan will be meeting on May 3rd. Farrakhan is a lunch group. We started out initially as a women-only group, but now we've gone off to women and men. So any of you who are interested in getting together, they'll be meeting at the Gourmet House in Hong Kong on McDowell Road. Um, Friendly Service, which is our quilters group, will be meeting May 5th in Living Parlor. And that will be the last meeting until October. So if you're interested in building, that's a great opportunity. And Habitat for Humanity, um, which the church is now in its third year of working with, will be getting together on June 11th. Um, the bulletin says May 28th, but it's been changed to June 11th. And it's a six hour commitment on a Saturday. You don't need to have experience in building a home, but it is a great way to get involved in the community and to help give people a hands up. And you may also learn a couple of things that you'll be able to use in your own home. Um, Sages, which is a group for the retired and those that wish they were retired, um, will be getting together for a presentation on May 11th at 10 o'clock at the Phoenix Art Museum. And that will be followed by a potluck um, after the, uh, the uh, presentation. And we have uh, a couple of other announcements. Glenn Roster uh, is at the Friendship Village Hospice in Tempe. For those of you uh, who know Glenn and would like to um, visit or, or keep him in your prayers. And also, uh, Kenny Van Cab, could you stand up, Kenny? He's joining us today. And Kenny just lost his father, Kenneth, on Friday. 
And his mother, Sandra, is very ill and not expected to be with us much longer. So we ask that you keep Kenny and his family in your thoughts and prayers. Here at First Church, we're very fortunate to have a number of artists and residents. And today, um, we'll be joined by the Full Circle Women's Choir. And Bill Bennett is the guest uh, conductor today for the choir. I'd like to welcome Ken, or Bill. And also bring up Sue Ward to ask a little more information about the concerts that are coming up. Good morning. Bill is actually directing the church choir, and Kim is actually directing the women's choir. I'm going to just say that, just so we're clear, there's no confusion. Um, the last time I spoke in front of these women, I didn't even notice them until I came forward, and then there was this big choir of women in front of me, and I, it was at Christmas time, I was a little distracted, and so I felt the need to join the choir, I guess, in order to start to remember who they were. So, um, I just wanted to draw your attention to, in that in the bulletin, again, that yellow sheet, that lovely yellow sheet. Would you turn to that, please? Now, down at the bottom, it says Artists in Residence. Now, for those of you who need visual cues, I want you to take a pen and pencil out of your purse or in front of you and put little stars and asterisks next to it so that when you pull that yellow sheet out, you'll remember not to throw it away because it'll remind you of our concert that's coming up this Saturday and Sunday. Um, we're celebrating, um, it's a women's weekend really, but it's Mother's Day weekend as well. And it's a great, be a great opportunity for you to come and bring your mom or your mom person, whoever that might be, or your dad, um, to come and hear us sing. It's a great concert. It is an incredible group of voices. You're going to hear a little preview of them today. And um, tickets will be on sale across the way in Pilgrim Hall today. Catch any one of us with the little colored scarves on and you can buy a ticket from us. The prices are $15 if you buy them before the concert on Friday. Um, if you buy them by Friday, they're $15 or $20 at the door. Now, for those of you who are doing the math, Frugal among us might want to pay the $15 ticket price because we're wanting to be, you know, careful and conservative in this, in this economic state that we're in. Although some of you might say, you know what, I'm going to toss caution to the wind and I'm going to pay the $20 at the door because I want to give that extra $5 to the choir because it's an arts community and I want them to have that. So you really have two ways of thinking about this. <laughs> today, or you can donate to the arts and feel really good and smug about yourself. <laughs> so I come across the way, come and talk to any one of us. Um, some of us might even do an impromptu concert for you, you just never know. Um, but we would love to see you. It's this Saturday at 7.30 p.m. and it's this Sunday at 3.30 p.m. So I hope to see you all there. It'll be a great opportunity to support the arts and support this group. And you're going to just be blown away by us, and I say that with all modesty. <laughs> Thank you. And additionally, the Desert Overture concert will be held on May 26th in Pilgrim Hall. The time will be announced. And also the Patina Brass group will be participating in the worship service on May 15th. So we'll get to hear many of our in-house uh, groups. Uh, the Call to Care Coordinating Council will meet on Sunday, May 22nd in Anthony Lounge. And the Reverend Sandy Britton will be speaking on the topic of alcoholism and spiritual malady. Uh, May 20th, Citizen Kane will be the movie of the month. And Jack will be coordinating that. And this will be the 70th anniversary of the movie. Bible study will be at 10.15 a.m. and 7.15 p.m. on Thursday. And that's it for my announcements. Does anybody in the congregation have another announcement? Yes. I would like to invite everyone to come to the story that takes place in the choir room. And this month it would be version and the 27. Some of you have already participated, and I thank you for coming in and sharing your stories and why we come here to worship. Okay. 
I coughed in one as I said across the congregation. And I thought, this is a wonderful opportunity to share that. And I'm inviting you to come May 13th or May 27th, please. Anyone else? Great. Then let us worship God.